G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Rules of Inches. This episode we are going to be talking tackle and tackle bags. So as you can see here I've got the uh, shoulder strap tackle bag. I've had it for a couple of years now. Um, has been really, really good. Um, now that we're doing a bit more um, rock fishing and walking around and that kind of stuff, as you saw in all the videos on Shark Bay and climbing and all of those rocks and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you, don't, you don't have to worry about this slipping off your shoulder or you holding onto this and uh, having no more room for your hands to carry the eskies and fishing rods and that kind of stuff. So I've gone for this one so I can chuck it on your back and you've still got your free hands to carry all the other stuff that you do need to carry while you're walking around. And uh, a bit more pockets as well. Obviously, you've got your side pockets for these and your front pockets. Um, but you can't fit too much in there. And you've only got one big section at the top, which things do get cramped and lost in there. When this one here has separate departments for different things. So, All right, guys. So we're going to show you um, what's inside this tackle bag and how messy it is. So basically I brought this for a couple of years ago. It's worked really well, but when you're walking and carrying over rocks like we have started doing on our channel, you've only got this shoulder strap and the weight of this is pretty heavy. So while well, having that, your, your esky, your fishing rods, if you've got a couple, um, and any gear that you may have, it gets pretty hard and gets pretty heavy carrying all that stuff for a long distance if you have to walk a couple of k's that we did in Shark Bay. So, what I've done is I've, we've got this brand new Shimano backpack. So I can chuck it on my back and I won't have to worry about tackle bag in my hands on my back. And I've got more stuff to carry. So the reason why I'm showing you guys this is I reckon I'll be able to fit most of this gear, if not all of it, into here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through this, chuck it in here. All right, so, you can see how messy this is when I open it up. Have a look at There is stuff everywhere. Now, there's only one big apartment in this, so basically everything has to go in that one department. Like for example, you've got your You've got your Wadi's um, your tape measure, all right, for your fish. That just gets thrown in there. It wastes so much space. Basically, you'll be able to chuck this in there like that, and it's not in anyone's way. You still got your apartments for your soft plastics, you still got your apartments for your boxes, and they're not in your way. Again, as soon as you lift this up. All right, all that stuff at the front slides in, okay? And then you're blocking this out. You're blocking these out, and you won't be able to get it back in. You gotta pull all that stuff out, push that back in, and stuff like that, and it's time consuming. So, it could be, you, instead, of, instead of that, you could be fishing, and you could be hooking onto a fish. So, why waste time when you can be more efficient than this one? All right, so as you can see, I've put that measuring tape in there. Again, I've got my scissors in here that's just floating around. I've got that much line gear. All right, they can just sit in here like that. And I know where it is. It's right there in that pouch. So if I need it straight away, I'll be able to unzip this, grab it out and use it. When in here, I'm forever looking for it. I've tried it in there. And it's yeah, it's not really not really doing me doing me any, any good. All right, so basically, this bag is more efficient and got way more. Bonus. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to clean this out. I'm going to shove it into that bag, and we'll show you what. As you can see here. There's a lot of stuff that I've got here in this bag and all this was shoved in there. So at least now, these are gonna have their own departments in this big 
backpack Shimano bag. And there's even more down here, look. We've even got more jigs and lures down here. Alright guys, that is fully loaded now. Just unpacked the old tackle bag all into here. And uh, I can tell you now, it's still pretty light. You can chuck it on your back, no roads at all. And uh, you've got all your gear in here. So let's start at the top. I've got all my soft plastics and my rigs that are in a box underneath. So they're not going to be in the way when I get to my soft plastics. So they're all there underneath when I need them. We're not going to use bait. Try and stop using bait and try and go more soft plastics as the market for soft plastics has gone up through the roof. Okay, I've got nothing on the front yet, which I can probably put other things in there, but obviously brand new, we'll work around that when we uh, start using it. Down the bottom here, we've got our knife in this um, silk cover. It won't go through and it won't hurt anyone, so safety first. Second of all, we've got our so, uh, our containers, so we've got our jigs in there. We've got our selection there. We've got our second lure selection and some spinners involved. And down the bottom, and the reason why it's down the bottom because I'm trying to stop it, and it's quite heavy, is the salt water gear. Now, obviously I'll, I'll try and use more of these lures um, for salt water and try and stay away from these. So the, the sinkers that are the heaviest might go out to try and save some weight in the bag. But again, it's very light, so it's not that heavy compared to the other one that I had. So they go straight in there. And on the sides, so I've got some, uh, got some squid jigs. Straight on the side there. If I see a squid while I'm out in the rocks, just quickly grab one of them. In the side perch, in the side patch, I've got your my measuring ruler, I've got my clamp, um, head torch, and a screwdriver. You never know when you need a screwdriver. So it's that one. Again, there's still plenty of room in there. This side, I've got some line. Um, I've got my 30, I don't know, 40 pound line in there, and this is my 15 pound line. Um, I do have some more, more just behind you, um, of six pound line and eight pound line braid. All right, in the last section, again, we've got our, all our um, tools and equipment. We've got a uh, tape measure, now this is handy. This is very handy. It tells you all the measurements and what fish you can have. Like that is sensational, it's just a tape measure. So yeah, traders out there, if you wanna get a uh, fishing ruler and you wanna think you're still at work, grab one of those. Um, stick, uh, measuring ruler, which I don't need. Might put that in the boat, hopefully, that one's getting old. Um, rules and instructions and a fishing guide and you've got your pliers and your scissors all in there ready to go so that's basically it guys all that still plenty of space in there as you can see and it's not that heavy so if you've got one of those old tackle bags and they're a shoulder carry one and you guys get sick of this and sick of that and sick of how heavy it is Grab one of those bad boys, so much more room, straight on your back, and you don't have to worry about it. All right guys, we're gonna leave the video here. If you like this kind of stuff, and you like this video, smash that little subscribe button, and leave any comments below about this bag. All right guys, see you soon, see ya.